So will the EU carbon border adjustment mechanism work to reduce emissions? So carbon pricing is the key to meeting our climate ambitions. It's also the key to greening global trade. And that's where the EU carbon border adjustment actually comes in. EU companies have to pay increasing carbon prices on their emissions. The CBAM is designed to ensure that similar carbon price for imported products. That way, there is no incentive to actually shift production elsewhere to reduce costs. For the moment, the CBAM is in early stages. Companies only have to report their emissions of their imports without facing any financial liabilities. But from 2026 onwards, there will be need to buy CBAM certificates. Eventually, the cost of carbon for imported products will be just the same as those for European products, which should incentivize greener production and encourage other countries to introduce carbon pricing policies too. And it's already starting to show results. Both India and China have increased their carbon pricing ambitions in response to the CBAM. The EU has also included shipping emissions in its emission trading system. That could make a big difference in global greenhouse gas emissions, besides generating revenue that could be reinvested into the decarbonisation of the shipping sector. So the EU is clearly taking the lead here. But the CBAM is a unilateral solution, and greening global trade will require global solutions.